This trace making is very easy, very simple. The only point is, it's got many steps to cover and you have to just understand these steps to make this trace. In fact, if you watch this video, there are many small small things which you can check and which you can make in your other dresses. So the main point, the focal point of this dress is its pleated collar. This collar you can wear in two ways, either open as Katrina Kaif is wearing in that uh, show or you can wear it closed like Victorian style. So it can be worn in two styles, on chest line and on uh, shoulders, that is your armholes, covering the entire armholes, you can make simple frills. Long sleeves with puff and cuff on the bottom. This cuff you can keep open or you can use button. Then the bodice is long, shirt-like and this belt which is attached on the sides. It's a simple single belt which will be tied to accentuate your midriff. If you don't want to use a belt, you can use long gathered uh, ruffles all over the front buttoned line. And then on the bottom side of this bodice, we have added simple gathered skirt. So there is nothing very complicated in this dress. You can make it at home. You can make this uh, collar, this dress for yourself, for others. If you didn't subscribe yet, do subscribe so that you get the notification. First of all, we need to know our measurements. The lengthwise measurements are taken starting from the shoulder till full length of the dress. And this dress would be divided into two parts, the full length minus the skirt length. The waist length is 14 inches, that would be till the hollow of your waist. The round of this uh, inch tape, that would be used for round measurements. Armhole round is 15 inches. I'm taking it a little bit loose, but you can make it tight or loose as you want. If you don't want uh, the collar or you want to make your neck, wider then you can check your neck width so if you don't want to make collar you can make it as wide as 9 inches or lesser and uh, even the front if you want deeper or wider you can keep the neck width as uh, as you want or you can go as per the cutting that I'm sh showing. The shoulder, now we want the shoulder measurements. That would be starting from one shoulder bone till another one. That will be 14 inches. So you can start from one point till another and that will be your shoulder measurement. You can check from the sides. This is your shoulder measurements. And now you want the chest round, you don't want to, you don't need to put your fingers inside, just the fullest part of your chest. Similarly, you take waist round, that would be the hollowest part of your waist and fullest part of your hip, that would be your hip round measurement. Now, the sleeve length where we ended the shoulder, our shoulder bone, till the Required, required your desired length of your sleeve. You can take that. I'm taking it full length. That will be 21 inches. So 21 inches would be our sleeve. And we'll be making cuff. For cuff, we keep it slightly tight. So it will be 8 inches. If we don't want to add cuff, we can keep it loose. As loose as like a flared sleeve. So this is our animal print fabric. This fabric is 3 meter long and the width is 56 inches. This kind of a fabric is uh, called double arch or white fabric. So this is crepe. This is in fact mixed fabric. Crepe with the uh, cotton mixed. So as you can see it's a beautiful print. We lay the fabric. I prefer to wash the fabric iron it and then only 
I lay it on the table. It also ensures that uh, my fabric wouldn't be bleeding color. So I lay the fabric that will be our bodice length 26 inches plus 1 inches. I keep 1 inch away from salvage. This 1 inch would be our button hold. See if you checked my earlier video on that uh, summer shirt making for a boy. It is somewhat the same way I am cutting this shirt. So if you are finding it difficult to follow this pattern. You can go back to my that uh, summer shirt making for the boy. And then you can follow that way. After marking one inch away from salvage for buttonhole, I kept other part of the fabric on top of the front fabric. So this way we'd be marking half inch away from the top and we'll be cutting front and back together. Shoulder is shoulder, half of shoulder plus half inch. And uh, our neck width would be chest divided by 12 or 2.5 inch. Neck length is chest divided by 12 plus half inch or uh, you can keep it 3 inch. Rest of the pattern is somewhat similar than the similar as the that summer shirt making. Only difference is that. Here the chest line would be chest divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Waist would be waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch. And hip would be hip divided by 4 plus 1 inch. Rest of the measurement and cutting. And one more thing. Shoulder slope would be only 3 fourths of an inch or half inch. Not 1.25 inch. And on the side seams we are keeping 1 inch extra. So this is the only difference. Otherwise, you can keep it same as given in the summer shirt. So, I repeat in this draft, the rest of the laying of the fabric, button hold, everything would be same. Only difference is chest line would be chest divided by 4 plus 1 inch, waist would be waist divided by 4 plus 1 inch. On and uh, bottom or hip would be hip divided by 4 plus 1 inch. On the side seams, we'll be keeping 1 inch extra and we'll be making notches. So that you can check out my other videos also because in any way, in this video, there is not much visibility. I, I don't know if uh, you are able to see because of this, uh, all this messed up uh, uh, print there's so much print on it so I tried my best but still I don't know if you'll be able to see the marking clearly so you can check my other videos and cut this pattern this draft easily it can be cut in any way how you can cut a kurti or a shirt so this is our front and back cut the same way as in summer shirt, I keep that back part on front, get the marking on the front and cut the front also with the shoulder and the, your armhole and the neckline. So this is, if you watch that video, you would remember. That it is the same method. So I got the markings. And now I will cut the armhole. Shoulder and the neck. It is important to cut the notches. Wherever it is shown. So... Pay attention wherever the notches are cut, you have to or you should do that because notches help us find out where exactly the 
need to make fittings or exact uh, fitting on both the sides. Now we are left with three pieces, one for the back and two shirt side panels. See when the prints are so complicated, it's always advisable that you make clear markings on the back side of the fabric. It avoids lots of time and uh, you don't waste your efforts on stitching on wrong sides or right sides of the fabric. So this is a top or tunic and our bodies and now we need to cut the skirt for this. So we lay the fabric again double the open side is towards me the close side is towards you and this uh, width is twice or thrice your waist waist measurements and length of the skirt is I kept it 16 inches plus one more inch or you can keep it total length of the dress minus body's length or top length that would be your skirt length so I cut a simple piece this is into double so I cut one more piece the width of the skirt is now we cut the sleeves you can follow the same pattern as I've shown in my other videos we have folded the fabric from top and the length of the sleeve we have taken total length of the sleeve minus 2 inches for cuff we will be adding cuff later on and uh, this length like the width of the armhole this width armhole length that we have taken same as we have taken on bodies this would be added by half inch later and we keep two and a half inch that 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 would be chest divided by 12 inside and then we mark a slanting line midpoint half inch each side a curve outside of it and a half curve inside and giving it shape of armhole see the purpose of this video is to show you how this beautiful dress can be made but if you are not able to follow the markings don't worry there is no problem you can follow any of the markings draftings that I have shown in my other videos the bottom of this sleeve I am not making tight because I want to give it a loose airy effect because of the summers you can keep it tight if you want to so this armhole is same as my body's armhole I add half inch to it so this half inch is added and then we'll cut the outline by this video you need to understand how this dress can be cut and made I again say don't worry if you don't follow the markings because I tried my best to show it clearly but still the print is such that it's difficult to be as or more clear so you can follow my other videos for the cutting or draftings or the instructions or the formulas and in this video you should concentrate on the designing part so here also I made the notches I open the sleeves and then we'll cut the curve of the sleeve. And in middle of the sleeve also this front, middle of front, we make small notches. And don't forget to make the marking so that you could find out which is the right side of the sleeve. So this is how I want my sleeve. A little bit loose now the next part is to cut the these straps one for the collar and two for the belt so for the collar we need to have about uh, four inch this is four inch 
white strip. This fabric is laid in double. The collar should be double or triple the neckline. So the way you make collars, you measure the necks and then you add the collar. Similarly, here we know our neck is about 13 or 14 something or it could be between 12 or 14 something. So it, it would be at least double that fabric, double or triple. Now the belt, belt would be again the same formula goes like twice, at least twice the waist or thrice the waist round. So here we make two markings, two bells. Each one is six inches wide and as long as our waist round plus again that double. Double the waist round. Even if it's longer, no problem. So we cut fabric for the neck. This is a pleated neck. If you check out the design, the Katrina calf uh, that uh, she is wearing, that is a pleated neck. A very long back, I saw the same design on Dia Mirza. And I really had a liking for that design. I made that design even then. Okay. Now we need to have two more strips. These are two inch wide long strips. They should be half of your half of your chest line plus five inch. So these are two strips for the front side of the shirt or the body and then we need two strips of same two inch for our armholes or shoulders. Here also we cut. This uh, design, this dress looks quite complicated but it is not. It's very simple to make, easy to make, nice to wear, beautiful dress and I'm sure you liked uh, making this dress, this cutting this dress with me. So to start with this dress, we'll be stitching the shoulders, pleated collar, gather skirt, ruffled for the front and for the shoulders, cuff of the sleeves, armholes. There are many points which you can learn from this video and you can learn for the lifetime. So the fabric I've taken is about 3 meter but I advise you to take at least 3.5 meter so that you don't run short, short of fabric as I did. So the first point is to join the shoulders. To join the shoulders, we keep back side of our fabric out and stitch one centimeter away from the corner, from the edges and make a firm stitch on the shoulders. Then we make a pleated collar. We had cut these long strips. We place them on a glued side of our fabric uh, that uh, fusing our paper pasting and the right side of the strip the fabric is out and we cut it. Cut as I have shown it because this strip would be folded this way to make Colors. You can keep it wider or less wider, narrower if you want. Now I fold the buttonhole towards back side of the bodies or top and press them. If you want you can stitch them just like a normal shirt I have already shown in my earlier video. So you can stitch, make a long stitch on this buttonhole but I am pressing it for a nice finish. Then we measure the neckline. One notch till the another notch, not covering the buttonhole. Buttonhole is not a part of the neckline. We mark the midpoint of long strip just to make sure that we don't run short of fabric this strip while we cover our neck with the pleats or while we make the pleats 
they should be equal so we'll keep our measuring tape alongside to check that we are keeping this one inch white pleat and then we'll stitch the entire collar the corner end of this collar we have to fold starting from notch place collar between the this uh, button hold and then starting from the this corner will stitch the collar would be placed on right side of the fabric collar looks same almost same from both sides front and back so there is no issue that you have to check which is which side just you have to make sure that you place it on right side of the dress the extra fabric of the collar will cut and fold pay attention here because this is also one of the crucial part in making a collar you fold this collar stitch over it and then you place this button hold towards right side of the dress on that is over the collar and then we stitch three layers the dress collar and then the button holds on top of it and then till the end we stitch on it once we are done with our collar it could be turned towards the back side and see from the right side it is look like this on top of it we'll make a top stitch about like it, it will be very close to the neckline now we place one button hold on another and join them with stitch the purpose is to keep these four pieces both the side parts of this shirt together while we stitch the we, we join the gathered skirt with it so when we make this stitch we'll be sure we'll be clear how much is our waist and after that we had two parts of the skirt we'll make gathers on skirt front as well as back part that will be about half inch away from the edges a long wide stitch which will be pulled the single thread would be pulled to make gathers evenly to cover the waist of our bodies It is very simple method of making any skirt and it will be same as our bodies now you can see we had stitched the button hole one piece on another and this is the purpose why we done that we'll pin the skirt with the top so that we exactly know how much we have to spread it we have to spread the gathers with a waist once it is done we'll make a top stitch on the bodies joint of the skirt we'll repeat this process with another part also because we have front as well as back part now we'll make the cuff so we'll take the fusing or paper pasting or a bookram and mark 9 inches for cuff round you can make it wider or lesser as you want we'll keep it we'll keep this canvas on the blue side on the fabric wrong side fold it and keep half inch from all sides and the open side one single uh, fabric we'll keep on the fusing on the bookram and we'll make a corner stitch then we'll fold it this way so that we could stitch on three sides to close it and one side where we had folded this single fabric on the bookram we'll keep that part open that open part would cover the bottom of our sleeve you can see the open part the open part would cover the sleeve bottom and make the cuff 
opening. So same way we'll make two cuffs and this is also an important part that we'll fold the ends this side also in the same direction we'll fold and here it is same as we make the collar so we make a curve this way we can give a particular shape also if, to our curve if you want to so this is something which differentiate an expert from uh, an um, uh, beginner because this is how neatly you turn your cuff ends or collar ends so here our cuff is ready we'll join it with a sleeve the end of our sleeve also i made the gathers because it was also like the wider than usual so the gathered sleeve the bottom of the sleeve should be same as the cuff length cuff width so the open side of the single side of the cuff should be placed on gathers and stitched over now the close side of the cuff would cover these gathers inside you can see these gathers would all go inside of this cuff This is the method this is simple method you can use for any kind of dress that you want to make you put the cuff in these gathers inside your sleeve bottom inside of this cuff cuff also you can keep wide or narrow as per your desire you can keep it open or you can keep it buttoned as you please and then after putting all the gathers inside the cuff you'll stitch all four sides of this cuff and then your cuff of the sleeve would be ready so here our sleeve is ready we'll join this sleeve with the armhole starting from one side the back side of the fabric out starting from one side the curvy side sometimes we need to pull to fit notch with the notch and joint with the joint but that should be only slightly that should not be too much otherwise shape of your sleeve would be distorted so this way we matched both the sleeves on this joint sleeve joint we'll be using this ruffle these was long strip we had cut the bias ones you can use whichever ones because in any way they wouldn't cause you much trouble so I use the long stitch to make the ruffle same as in gather skirt and on top of the shoulder stitch or arm holes after joining the sleeves we'll stitch the end of these uh, these uh, ruffles you may doubt because the thread may come out so the iron out of fabric what you can do is i done was like i use fabric glue to cover the edges now we stitch ruffle strips on front side panel of top for that we need to mark same as we mark for the pockets and then here also we'll use these strips you can make it make it as gathered as you want or as less gathered or as pleated as the collar all depends on your mood and your choice but this particular dress demands these kind of gathers so i done that now we mark 7 inches down from arm hole for belt placement that is on that is 14 inches down from the shoulder mid shoulder or nape of the neck till your waist hollow of your waist and this is our single waist this is the you know the waist i also had less fabric so i just picoed or rolled hem all four edges of this uh, belt and used it but if you want you can use a proper belt making method seeing my baby frock making video now join the sides of the dress starting from end of the curve till end of the bottom of the dress or bottom of the skirt 
So we didn't stitch on the curve. I kept that open from the corner. Mid where we put the belt and till end of the skirt. This way we'll stitch both sides of the dress. We'll cover both the sides and these are simple dresses. Simple but beautiful dress for the summer vacations or uh, roaming around for a lazy day or your, even for your evening formal evenings you can wear this this is very beautiful dress nice easy to make which you can make so if you like this video and I'm sure you like it do share with your friends and family so they also learn something beautiful and uh, do comment how did you like it what improvement I done my best honestly to make it as close to the photo that you have know, share with me so do share with me if uh, you could suggest something some more improvement to it or something which I missed